what is up you guys it's your boy Grim back with a video and we are here in Born As Ghost starting the playoffs with Legion they are leading the way with 13 stars to R0 Born As Ghost has not attacked yet we are going to be doing a recap throughout the war but also maybe we might try to cover a couple live attacks I don't know let's see let's see if we get some live ones hang on real quick I'll be right back Oh man, we missed this one live. We wasn't able to catch it, but we're gonna go ahead and include it in the vid because it's such a beautiful attack. Masoon coming in here with the Queen Walk Plalo slash Mass Minion. I don't know, a lot of minions there. Got 20 something minions. Queen going up top at the 12. Minion to the side over there taking out the Builder Huts and the Town Hall. I like it, man. Didn't know the Tesla farm was gonna pop up on him, I'm sure. Looked like he wanted to go to the three o'clock, but the Queen is actually gonna wrap around towards the nine, lays down the Rage. He's got two more left and a jump along with the double poi amping up the healing factor and the dps of that queen taking on the tesla moving over there towards the nine expo is firing down on her but just you wait he's gonna lay down the king funnel her a little bit that way she goes right into this core compartment right here that way she takes out two ad's and the other two ad's over here will be used for the dogs to tank for the loon so king wrapping around towards the nine taking out some trash queen is going head to head with the king C cc coming out the clan castle lays down the poise slowing the attack rate of the king and the cc down lots of skellies oh man but he laid down the rage saving the queen keeping her alive keeping it moving minions going down still working on the town hall look at this able to get to a lot of percentage just with a few minions gonna lay them down on top of the mortars soon as they are available there he goes lays down the minions queen going head to head with the enemy queen lays down the poi for her oh i love it man holding on to them poise saving them for the enemies that way the queen has no pressure and is able to keep on moving so here comes the first dog right at the two o'clock more loons coming in at the three got one more dog left in the bag there he goes getting them ah, spawned at the four loons closing in on the right side of this compartment no more spells left he's got three loons and a giant look what he does with the giant he's gonna spring it on the back side over there towards the six minions all around along with the pups helping out with the cleanup tons of percentage on the right side man but the minions along with the pups able to clean up very nicely so dogs are still alive tanking for the loons a good group of loons over there in the core here comes a giant distracting a little bit from the archer tower i would like to have seen the giant place more towards the wizzy tower that way it could soak up damage from the loons but tons of pups and minions man oh beautiful job coming in from our boy masoom with the queen walk lalo slash minion attack nice oh All right, hold up. We got Alex going in on their number eight. All right, this is a 10 on 10 action. She's bringing the Goho. Jump going down over here at the seven. King, queen, and the golems getting funneled in. Here comes the CC right up out the castle. Lays down the double poi. It's looking good. It's looking smooth. She got two heals, a jump left. Oh, no, no, she only got one heal left. She laid it down for the army right there. Streams of fire coming out the disco. Hopefully the bowlers can reach it and take those babies out. Oh, the queen right there in the inside <laughs> or in the core, I should say. Still have the hoggies left. They're getting deployed over here on the right-hand side, keeping up with the kill squad. Slowly but surely moving in on the base. Got one heal for him. Probably going to lay it down on the backside right there. Yes, very nice. Right there where the Wizzy Tower is. This is looking good. This is looking really good. The left side still needs to be taken out. Got a Wizzy Tower, an Expo, and a couple cannons. But the hogs are full of green, and they're looking mean, baby. Still got the Queen ability left. Going to pop it here soon enough. Soon as the cannon gets, yet yeah, there he goes, gets taken out. Town Hall is now getting focused in on. Gobs all around, along with some bowlers and some Wizzies. This is done. Dada for Shada. Oh, very nice job. Coming in from our girl, Alex. Yes. Oh, baby. Very nice. And just before this, Renegade also had a hog attack. I'm definitely going to be showing you guys this, but some 10 on 10 action coming in from the boys and girls over here at Born and Ghost, making sure Legion is going to get thumped in. Hang on real quick. We'll be right back with the next one. All right, here we go. Our boy Spike, man, he going in on a 10. There's some more 10 on. Oh, no, 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 no. This is an 11. So this boy should be able to get it. He is an 11 going in on a 10. I thought he was a Town Hall 10. And anyways, Grim, anyways. All right. So our boy coming in with some baby dragons over here at the 10 and at the 7. Got some bowlers. Gonna come in with the Lalo. Gonna, my guess is, my, little, little, Grim, speak right. My guess is that he's gonna come in from that side right there. Yes, I was right. <laughs> a little too late though, Grim, a little too late. But here comes the bowlers. The golems tanking the way along with the queen and the king. Gonna jump right there in the nine o'clock compartment. CC gonna come out the castle. I don't know what's in the CC. Maybe it might be a hound. Hopefully not. 
Hopefully it's not a hound because the queen may pop it. Oh, it is a hound. Hopefully the queen keeps on walking uh, down south. Meanwhile, the king takes care of the queen and the two ADs. Yes, so it looks like the objectives are being accomplished. Lalo's out the clan castle. Gonna make their way down to the bowlers and the queen. Hopefully the queen dies before popping the hound. Here comes his dogs and the loons. Got three haste and a rage. Lays down the rage on the first disco inferno right there. Just speeding right there in front of its face. Taking it down very easily and very swiftly. More loons just encompassing the three o'clock. Coming in, closing in on the core. And this is looking nice. I think he's about to wreck it. He has it. No pressure, my boys. No pressure. Look at the big group of loons just ready to slap dicks on top of this face, man. Just going to slap it right in the face. Oh, man. Hopefully, I'm not jumping a gun a little too soon, though. Uh, I might be. You guys know how I do. I jump the gun sometimes. I say it's good. And it's really not. Oh, this is looking a little rough. Now that we kind of uh, calmed down a little bit, it's looking a little rough. Still has one dog tanking and a nice little set of loons, but it may not be enough to get to that Disco Inferno. Oh, oh no, this might be a fail, my boy. This might be a fail. <laughs> ah, no. <laughs> Quaid on the outside over there at the three. Loons then went pop. Dog is still doing a little bit of tanking for the pups. Uh oh, there he goes. He buzzed. Now pups all around taking out the trash. Just not going to be enough, my boy. He's still got a couple expos left along with the air blower over there in the core. Yeah, this is a thump. Some whop. Oh. <laughs> so wide open booty. Oh, my boy. Spike got his stuff pushed in. Anyways, man, oh, man. Rough day for Spike coming in with a thump. Not able to get the dip on this boy. But we are leading the way. Last time I checked, it was 69 to 60 something. We'll check here in a second. We might as well back up out of here because he is not going to get the three star. This one is over with. We'll back up out of there. Nice job coming from our boy Spike. But right now, as it stands, it is 69 to 66 with just over an hour left. So hang in tight, guys. Stay tuned to the end of the video to see the final results. And hopefully our boys and girls over here at Born as Ghosts can come out with the win. All right, this is the other 10 on 10 battle that I want to show you guys. Renegade coming in on their number seven slick, coming in with a buttload of hogs. Oh, man, coming in with the baby dragons over here at the six and the four. Queen way over there off to the three because there's a hound in the CC. So he doesn't want to pop the hound because the pups will destroy the hogs. So queen over there at the three, taking out some trash, moving into the mortar, going to get to the ADs and the cannons. Meanwhile, a golem, ging, and the bowlers coming in at the 530 mark right there. Also, a minion Tesla is popping up, trying to put some pressure. Streams of fire coming out the disco, but he's able to get into the core, take care of the queen, the disco, and this little compartment right here. And he's got 34 hogs that will thump in the rest. He also has a freeze and two heels along with a skelly spell. King and bowlers taking the lead, taking out the queen, and going to move further on into the core just a little bit. Also getting to that bomb tower, taking it out. Here comes some hogs. Queen already got thumped in. As I have said, does not want the queen to survive to pop the hound because the pups will totally destroy the hogs. So here comes the hogs over here at the three. He's got 22 left. A buttload of hogs, man. Lays down the first heel right there. Nice placement right there on top of the Tesla and the bomb tower along with the Expo. More hogs coming in at the two and at the 12. Lays down the freeze perfectly. Got one more heel left. Just holding on to it as the hogs make their way around towards the nine. Going to lay down the heel to replenish them back up. More hogs getting reinforced with the ones already previously laid down. But nice placement. Key placement with the heels, able to make these uh, these hogs survive to the end. Minions on the backside got a skelly spell that he'd be laying down. Look at the skelly spell drop, able to distract it from the Wizzy Tower, putting pressure on the hogs. And actually, the skellies do a great job of taking it out. Also, a, co a company with a few hogs, able to wipe out that Wizzy Tower. The last thing that's really standing that will put pressure on the hogs but beautiful job our 10 just coming in very nice with two town hall 10 triples 10 v 10 absolutely beautiful job coming from the boys at born at ghost oh and the girls let's not forget the girls oh All right, this one coming in from our boy Andrew, coming in on their number 11, Duck Renegade 98. Now he comes in with a Shattered Go Bola. Golem going down at the 11, one going to go down at the 9, going to reroute to the mortar. Jump going to get laid down. He brought no wall breakers, just going to use the jump to get over the first set of walls, and they're going to get right into the core also. So the Wizzies, along with the King, 
Few bowlers will be coming down at the clan castle. He's got one rage and a heal left. Gonna lay down the rage and the heal for the kill squad. Getting on into the core. Here comes the CC right about the castle. Some witches, a baby dragon, and some whizzies, along with a couple archers, I believe. But he lays down the rage, lays down the heal, replenish them back up. Look at the queen taking a walk on him, but it might have been for the best because the queen works up her way to the north where the enemy queen is. So you know in a go bowler, you have to get rid of the queen. As in most raids, you have to get rid of the queen. That way the rest of your air raid the dogs and the loons can go in there untouched from the queen side so here comes the dog along with the loons he's got two haste and a skelly spell nice job with a kill squad getting on into the core taking out some prime components a lot of the air defense loons are able to clean up the rest lays down the haste to quicken the pace of the loons dogs tanking for him more loons coming in from the three he's got one left that he's going to use for the backside whizzy down there and a skelly spell to help with the cleanup pups being spawned bouncing all around loons are getting hurt a little bit over there in the the red but still not enough to resist the loons from thumping the rest in so as you can see the haste gets laid down one with loan one loon right there distracting a a, a wizzy tower from putting pressure on the big group of loons but yes very nice job coming up from our boy andrew with the go bowler look at the skellies oh tear it up the tail hall ow very nice my boy very nice <laughs> All right, this one coming up from our boy Littlefoot coming in with the Big Daddy Mass Drag Attack. Oh, eight Big Daddy Drags, man. So take a look at this. Take a look at how he three stars. He's going to use the king over there at the north to tank for the queen. They're going to get that top side AD right there. Double zap quake on these two ADs and just one quake able. Oh, very nice MLG quake. Just using one of them to finish those two ADs off. King still tanking for a little bit right there. Queen going let down. He's going to take care of the north. AD only leaving one left over here at the bottom and a dog is going to tank for that so he's got some archers over there on the side like the use of the baby drag and look at the loon right there man just creeping in on the base able to funnel a little bit taking out that archer tower baby drag is able to take out some more trash going to funnel the drags on into the core to get right to the queen. Love the use of the baby drags over here also to the left hand side. Funneling the drags. Here comes the dog. One haste that will get laid down on the base so that speed up the queen or speed up the drags and the loons. Going to take care of the enemy queen real quick and then the rest is history. Got three loons and a minion left. Drags are just creeping in on the base slowly but surely. Dog still doing some tanking. Finally bus pups are being spawned. Bouncing all around and helping out with the cleanup. Nice little Wizzy farm over there but of course Wizzy Towers do not do that much damage to the drags man really there's no thing that can resist them right now at this point because there's no ad's left on the field maybe the tesla's try to pop up and put pressure on them but still not enough only the ad's and the air bombs that are really going to provide resistance to these drags the expos were down so it were they were just a bunch of sitting ducks so nice job coming in from our boy littlefoot with the big daddy mass drag attack man i absolutely love it oh There you go, there you have it, boys and girls. 70 to 66, born as ghosts coming out on top of Legion. 94% total destruction to their 91. Shout out to Legion, y'all did great. It was an epic war, very, very nice. This was the first week of the playoffs, MLCW Season 3. Very nice. Starting it off right, we move on to the next round. We'll be facing up against Buckeye Nation, so stay tuned for that next week. But again, shout out to Legion. Y'all some great players, man. Hope to see you next season. Your boy, your, yours truly, will be there for you next season right here in Born as Ghost also. So yes, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for next week. Remember, we're going up against Buckeye Nation. We're going to be going in the second round playoffs. Stay tuned for that. Stay flexing, my boys! Peace.